Look at me. Hi. Did I get a hug? Yeah. <laughs> I miss you. Oh, you smell like sunscreen. Did you miss me? Your messy face? Are you waiting for your surprise? Yeah, what do you think it is? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. You ready? Take it over to show Jen. Yeah. Okay. Come out here. Come around here and look. Look around the front of the house. Look around the front of the house. Keep going. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Who is it? It's my dad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Surprise. Was that a big surprise? I hope she's not disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably like, her imagination going crazy. What's she going okay, to be bringing me? Next door. She says, when my mom gets home, I'll I'll bring my I'll come back over and show you my big surprise. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is it. I hope you like it. Do you like your surprise? I told you you'd like it, didn't I? Yeah. Hey, Grandma said it was a big surprise. Yeah. Oh my God. Thank you. You're enormous. Yeah. Like you look like you've been having show, fun. Show him how big your hand is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have daddy's hands, huh? Show him your hands. Daddy, a big kiss. Yeah. Cool. You ready to get down or do you want to? Show him the hands, how big the hands are. My hand is almost in bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Marley, come here. You get out of the way. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, sorry, Raymond. I'm coughing. Oh my God. I'm I know you did. I'm glad I ignored it because I knew I was. Gonna Marley, get down. Get down. Sergeant Lazarus Brown was on a covert mission, sneaking into the cafeteria of Barbara C. Jordan Intermediate School. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> nervous for Just feet away, Sergeant Brown's daughter walked in, thinking she was there for a garden variety lunch. We're starting something new today. But then the principal announced a new program called Student of the Month. And it's Malia Bennett. <laughs> I believe he finally came. I'm so excited. Uh, I've been gone for a while. And to see her face and uh, how excited she was to see me was, uh, was awesome. Sergeant Brown, who's in the Air Force, has been in Afghanistan for six months. He was supposed to come home Saturday, but instead flew 19 hours and landed at midnight. His wife sneaked him into his own home, into the guest bedroom. Threw boxes and whatnot, so I, I kind of hid in there. He waited for another 13 hours before he could hold his children. I smelled something like he was home. Like I could smell his scent, but I didn't, I wasn't thinking about it. But the family was still not complete, and together they headed over to Watts Elementary School, where his five-year-old son, Lazarus, was in the library, his teacher reading a book about the military. When Lazarus looked up, 
his father was standing in front of him. And for the first time in six months, the family was finally together. Evan, Evan, look at here. Evan, look at right here. Everybody ready? Yeah. Hold on, we're missing somebody. I don't know. Well, thinking he was on deck to take to the mat, a Greenville County High School wrestler was in for quite the surprise. That's right. Elena? He had no idea yeah. that his semen brother was home for a very short trip, and their emotional reunion was really something else. As the Woodmont High School wrestling tournament gets underway. At the side, I need to I thought I was about to have a match. I thought I was going to hit super S. At first, I just thought he was wanting me to work tables or something. 
Wrestler Jesse Royal and his brother Taylor made their way to the front. I didn't know until he, like, until I saw him, I didn't I had no idea. It wasn't until these two turned around that they realized the oldest of their trio, Russell, was home. I was shocked. I was like, I had no idea. I thought he was still in Japan. After a few days in Virginia, Russell and his parents arranged the surprise homecoming. Eight, almost nine months since I've seen him. You know, that I used to be a wrestler myself, and you know, it's, you know, they, I heard his tournament was today, so that's pretty much what I wanted to do. It's been a long time since I've seen him, so I'm pretty happy that he's here to support me. And while a hug may not be your standard wrestling move, in this case, tears of joy are welcome. It's not every day I get to see, see him and give my family a big hug these days, so it's like it's, it's a, you know, very, basically it's like something new to me. And I, it's very touching to be able to have my family in my arms again. The younger Royals say their time apart from Russell is hard, but this unexpected reunion couldn't have been better. Oh, it's pretty cool. I feel kind of special. It's a little tough being away from any kind of family or anything like that. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, really good to be home. Now, Jesse and Taylor only have a brief visit with their big brother home. Seaman Royal is set to head back to Japan early next week. Homewood Elementary School honored our nation's heroes during a special assembly on Tuesday. But there was an extra special surprise in store for 11-year-old Maddie Gamble. Maddie didn't know she would get to see her dad. She hasn't seen him since he left for Korea seven months ago to serve in the Air Force. But he came back Monday. And my father-in-law picked me up at the airport and I stayed the night at their house last night. Keeping the secret. Maddie was one of four students who won an essay contest about who their hero is and why. My hero is super important to me for a good reason. He's my dad. After Maddie read her essay, her hero walked in. And her jumping off the stage was running to my arms. The look on her face was just was amazing. I thought this was like a dream and it was not reality at all. A special moment between father and daughter that was made even better through Maddie's words from the heart. I know she loves me, but hearing that coming from in writing, how she actually feels about me, you know, as, as a parent, you don't, you don't hear those things every day. He's just a wonderful person. It couldn't, it couldn't get any better. Master Sergeant Gamble will be home for the next three weeks where he will get to spend time with his family. He will then go back overseas to complete his tour. Reporting in Conway, April Baker, WPDE News Channel 15.